Always Winning is a book about redemption more than anything, um, about how a hardcore um, drug user and gang member could make a turn in his life and what were some of the factors in doing that because I think when people think about gang members and drug addicts, um, they really write them off. Um, majority, the vast majority can change their life and have changed their life and I wanted to tell one story of one young person who despite all the odds uh, made a turn towards a destiny, towards social justice, towards family and um, you know the kind of life that I have now as a writer. To me writing was more than just a profession, it was a process of deep um, inward and looking but also um, how do I impact the world around me? So again, my personal healing, as well as the healing that can happen within families and communities, that to me has made writing so much more different. I, I know that I have to be uh, a good writer, I have to be rigorous in my craft, I have to know what I'm doing, but more compelling to me is that this is going to impact the lives of other people, but it's totally therapeutic, therapeutic from my end, but I know that it also helps others who read it and hopefully learn some of the lessons from my writings. I think when young children join gangs, I was 11 years old when I joined, um, they have a lot of empties in their life, in their families, in their community. Not everybody's going to join gangs who are troubled, but I think gangs fill a big need. Uh, for me, I was attracted to their, where I thought they had power, I thought they had respect, I thought they were uh, somebody that, people that uh, nobody going to mess with. And I was a kid that was pretty broken down, pretty shy, pretty messed up, and I felt powerless, and I thought in a gang I would find that power. When it calls you back, I guess the most important thing that I can feel accomplished by it is that it, it reaches as many people as possible who are caught in this world. This country has millions of people in addictions, millions of people around gangs and prisons and, and, gang, and jails, millions of people who are lost, suicidal. I want to be able to speak to some of the issues, the impulses and motive uh, reasons that some of them feel uh, it lost like that, but also to let them know that in spite of all that, in the darkness there can come some light and out of the shadows we can find our way. Um, to me that's the most important thing so that people don't get caught to the point that they can't escape.